In this video, I'm gonna give you four of my favorite MacBook productivity hacks. Let's jump in. All right, we're gonna start with one of my all-time favorite productivity tips. It is called multiple desktops. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slide up on your trackpad with four fingers, and it'll open up this tab up top where you see different desktops. If you're not seeing more than one up here, all you have to do is click this plus button on the right. So I'll click that, and you'll see that it adds several desktops to my Mac. And so you can add up to 16 different desktops here. I usually work with about four, and all you have to do to slide between between desktops is go back into your main screen and then swipe left or right with four fingers. And so what this does is it actually allows you to open different programs in each desktop so that you can kind of keep your life a little bit more organized. So I'll open music here, swipe, open Photoshop over here, swipe, I'll open InDesign right here. And you'll see that as I swipe between each program or each uh, desktop, I have my different programs open. This helps me keep really organized and I can always swipe back up with four fingers to see what's where. If you want to close a desktop, all you have to do is click the X up top and it'll combine all the open programs into the original desktop like so. As you've seen already, you can actually change your background for each desktop as well. So I'll change this one to something like this. I can add another desktop here and this is a fun way just to keep things uh, delineated. I hope that you find it super super helpful. Alrighty, so my next productivity tip for you is called Hot Corners. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the Apple menu, click System Preferences right here, and we'll open our desktop and screensaver settings. Now you'll click Screensaver, and then click this button right here that says Hot Corners. And what Hot Corners do is they assign a different task to each corner of your screen. So if you have the latest Mac OS downloaded and installed on your Mac, you'll see that you already have Quick Note set up here, which is why when I go to the bottom right hand corner, Corner, a quick note pops up like so. You can actually change this to any different feature that you see right on here. So I'm going to change that to Launchpad. I'm going to change the top right hand corner to my Notification Center. I'm going to change my bottom left hand corner to my Application Windows. And we'll just kind of uh, try out each different corner. You'll see Quick Note top left hand corner and then click OK. Now what you'll see is if, if I slide down to the right, my Launchpad goes up just as it did with Quick Note before, like so. If I take my cursor top right hand corner, we've got Notifications Center up there. And so we've got different features for each corner of the screen, Quick Note. This will save you tons of time if there's a specific task that you use all the time. So my next productivity tip for you guys is gonna be organizing your menu bar. You'll see up here, we have our menu bar. And this little button right here is our control center, which has kind of every feature you might need from display to music, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And you might not know this, but you can actually organize this so that they're a little bit more accessible for you depending on what you use your Mac for. So I actually use my Bluetooth a lot. You'll see that it's not up here in my menu bar. So if I actually click and drag this module, sorry, the Bluetooth module up here to the top, it'll show up there and now Bluetooth is straight in my menu bar. I don't have to go into my control center to actually use that. You'll see you can do it with just about anything in here. You can pop those things right up top into your menu bar. And so this will save you a lot of time depending on what you use your Mac for. Give that a shot and try it out. All right, guys, here's my final tip for this video and it is called spotlight. So all you have to do to use your spotlight is click command and spacebar. It's a very simple shortcut in spotlight search allows you to search everything on your Mac, find any file you're looking for or search on the internet. So you can do lots of things with the spotlight. So for example, if I'm looking for a file called birthday photo, I can search that right here in the menu bar, or sorry, in the search bar, and it'll show all my birthday photos in order, and I can find them simply clicking right there. Next, you can use it as a calculator. So if I do six plus 78, you'll see 84 right there. Six divided by 55 you'll see it right there. You can also use this as a currency converter. So if I say, what I wanna know what 350 pounds equals in dollars. There we go. It's 436.74 US dollars. You can also use it for sports. So let's go Red Sox, search that. 
it shows the final game. So you've got all sorts of things. You can search the internet, you can search definitions of words, all sorts of things right here in your spotlight search. I use this for just about everything. I don't even bother going into my mission control or anything to try and find apps. All I do is search my apps in here and I click enter and it opens the app for me. So give that one a shot and I hope it works out for you. By the way, this video is a part of my mini course, how to use a MacBook like a pro. Sign up with the link below, it's totally free. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future videos and courses.